Hey everybody, welcome back. Happy Sunday. Hope you guys are doing good. Get a few of you guys in here early. There's like 15 of you guys. That's so awesome. Really, truly amazing. Really, really, truly amazing. So thank you guys so very much. I'm going to move this up a little bit. My micro sticker. Do something kind for someone. Wonderful, wonderful. It was great to see you guys in the chat early. Like 15 of you guys. It's so awesome. Man, it's been a week, I tell you. Thanks, Nick. I appreciate it. What's up, Bells Blades? Keith is in here. Penny, Big Red, Taz, all members of Zach's Daily Carry Crew. Thank you so much. I see Jason Brown kicked it off, got here first again. Man, try to beat that guy into a chat. What's up, Barry? G-Man, what's going down? Ethan Ruins, EDC. Steve Kluver's here. Newfoundland Knife Guy. Nick Martino's here. Trying to make sure I don't miss anybody, man. You guys are awesome. Eggs and Ham 22 is here. It was such a blessing, seriously, to see you guys in the chat early. It's awesome. Mattis is here. What's up, Mattis? Yeah. R. Campbell's here. What's up? What's up? Hollywood Tactical is here. What's going down? Oh, yeah. Big Red's uh, recoil one. Nice. You just ordered it. Sweet. Carlos EDC is here. What's up, Carlos? I think I got Carlos hooked on the bug outs, you guys. I sent a few of them down to Carlos, and I think I got them hooked. Definitely. I mean, you can't go wrong with a custom bug out. What's up, Richard? Richard's here. Another member of Zach's Daily Carry Crew. Got the bug outs on point. This blue G10 S30V. Can't beat that. Yep, I think you do got to get a custom, Carlos. Definitely. Well, today I wanted to do a Q&A with you guys because you guys always have such great, great questions. What's up, Randy? Welcome. Slick, what's going on? So many great people in here. Um, there's some things I want to show you guys, but you're going to have to wait until next week. Mikey Rast is here. What's up, Mikey? Another member of Zach's Day of the Carry Crew. One of the things, yeah, Big Red just put a link there. If you want to be a, a supporter of the channel, get early access to content, get to help me out with some member polls, also get some cool swag, um, send out, uh, I got these patches here, the PVC Zach stuff patches. Um, if you want to purchase those, you can send me an email, zach.edc at gmail.com. If you're a member of Zach's Daily Carry Crew, um, I'm getting one of those out. So almost everybody's got them. I got a few left that came through last week that uh, I got to get sent out today. Lots of blue. Bunzo, what's happening? How well, Mattis Kaliski, Kaliski, how well does the new M4 bailout work in actual use? Really curious about it. Well, I have a good friend of mine who's carried his almost exclusive and been outstanding. Uh, a few touch-ups here and there. The M4s held up pretty well. Um, no actual, like, you know, Catra testing, those kind of things. Just everyday person use, and it's worked out really well. Um, that might be a good thing. I can go ahead and... Oh, yeah, there's a link to the Mini Osborne that's on here. This one's been fun to carry. But yeah, Mattis, the M4 one, it's got the aluminum scales, holds up great. Everything's been super with that one. Um, but yeah, I'll see if I can grab it next week. And maybe when Big Red and I do our uh, our early, I think we're doing a SKL, a early SKL. We'll uh, SKL on the road. I get to be another honored guest, so that's pretty cool. Um so I think maybe I'll try to get his bailout for that. You guys can compare. Because I have one that I don't carry very much. 
So you can kind of compare that one to one that he carries almost every day. So I'll have to, I'll have to give him a knife to trade, you know, for the weekend. Uh, Nick, what's up, Nick? Nick Chismar's here. Welcome, welcome. He said, Zach, hey, did you see the new photo or new proto bug out scales from Flytinium? Yes, I did. And I put, oh, Mikey, thanks, buddy. I did see that. I also mentioned if they wanted somebody to test them out, let me know. Um, they liked my comment, uh, but I haven't heard from them. So that would be really cool because I would honestly put them up against, where is it? Where's that other bug out I had? Maybe it's in my tray. Hold on. I have some titanium skills I would love to put them up against. And that's the ones from Bashy Design. Let me find it really quick here. But yeah, so guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much. I hope you guys had a great holiday. Uh, Mikey, you're very welcome for the swag and the screws. I'm glad you like the patch, buddy. That's awesome. Um, oh, like the DSKFS? Okay, cool. Yeah, so the patches for this are being made, and I'm still waiting to hear from the company um, that made these micro stickers to hopefully get a regular size sticker out of it like I ordered. Um, but either way, I ordered a second round of those stickers from a different company just to get them on the way. Because I want to try to include them with our giveaway items that we're doing for our big holiday giveaway smash. The big red knife. Oh, it's right in front of me. What's up? What's going down, George? These are the scales I'd love to put those flytanium ones up against. So that's pretty cool. Big Red, thanks man for throwing out all those links. I'm kind of doing it on the on the fly today with him. But these are not available right now, these scales. I would say though, check out my Instagram because when they do become available, I'm going to post all over. So there's some cool stuff coming up. You know, there's a lot of prototype stuff being put out there. I know I saw some stuff from Rogue Blade Works that they put on their Instagram. Also, if you guys noticed, I put into, or I, or I changed the name on my Instagram account. So it's now Zach's underscore stuff. Um, it used to be Z stuff. is a little confusing for some people. So it's a little easier now. Kind of just lay, lays it out there what it is. Hopefully it's a little bit better for everybody. Yeah, the all black hardware is perfect. So, and I, <laughs> I feel bad because I ordered these beautiful scales right here, these carbon fiber ones, and I don't have a carbon fiber elite, a new one to put onto these. So I think I'm gonna have to tear this one apart right here and use this one to just demo it and do the, do the video on them because I really like these. Um, so I'm excited for them. But yeah, CK, what's up? Welcome, welcome. Knives Fast is here. What's up? What's going on? Rip City EDC, one of my local guys, right on. So I do want to say, before we get into some more questions, I do want to say that I am very grateful. You guys probably saw this on my Instagram, but I had some amazing, just an amazing surprise. Um, and it was something that I got for a birthday gift. And no, Mikey, they haven't dropped yet. I have to give a huge shout out to these guys right here. BJ, Hilltop Knives and Gear, Big Red EDC. Huge shout out to these guys because they went through... Oh, thanks, Keith. Yeah, there's my Instagram page right there. Little Keith coming in, linking that. Keith, you guys, if you don't follow Keith's Instagram, please do so. He has some very cool stuff from the truck that he does. He's going to have a crazy wild whirlwind month coming up starting tomorrow, I think. So I appreciate you're here, buddy, sharing some time with us. But this beauty arrived as a birthday gift. And it, it floored me, actually, because... Just, you know, the extra work to make this custom on top of the thoughtfulness of the gift. Uh, you know, words can't explain when you get gifts like this from people. So, Big Red, BJ, you guys are great. Thank you so much. It's perfect color-wise, blue and black. 
the custom work on here. This is an Ontario Rat 1. It's beautiful. So I appreciate that. So anyways, that joins the club now. And that's that, that's that's one I carried it like 3 days last week even though I was carrying a bunch of other ones. So uh yeah. Let's see here. Where do we leave off? So that's pretty cool, you guys. Yeah, it's a Spidey Rat. I I have seen all the work he does. Um, I didn't have an opportunity to order one, and just not. It's because of me. It's not because of him. But all of a sudden, this showed up, and I'm like, "What in the world?" And it's just beautiful. So, thank you guys again. So make sure to follow Big Red EDC and Hilltop Knives and Gear. Those guys are awesome. Thank you so much. We're and if you don't know. Big Red and I are doing a huge holiday giveaway and we're going to film the video next week and it'll post up probably the following Monday. So probably a week from tomorrow or Tuesday. And we have some amazing stuff as you saw some of it last week and we're getting a few more things this week. Beautiful, beautiful. So anyways, again, you guys, this is awesome. It's, I showed it to everybody I could. We have like limited staff in the office obviously and i was just like so proud of it i was like oh my gosh this is great so um let's see here um i got a spidey flick it okay i will try what's up northwoods knife guy welcome welcome another member of zach's daily carry crew i'll try to spidey flick this i don't want to cut myself because that edge you put on there i gotta break it in a little bit before i can get a full spidey flick on camera it's not as easy as the one that, that Big Red was showing off last night, the Sen Cut one. That one was crazy. Oh, so that's that's amazing. So Big Red and I are going to be putting a whole bunch of stuff together, um, giveaway packages next week. We're going to do a, a, you know, he's doing a, a SKL on the road. It's going to be in Portland here. We're going to have a super secret location. <sighs> Excuse me. Oh, you got some desk scales? Nice. Got a little uh, hydration water here. Already got my tea down from this morning, so that's good. Oh, he did a full Anno Thai Spidey Rat for you? Oh, wow. Oh, he's oh you're going to get one from him. Oh, yeah, that'll be great, Mikey. So, yeah. Um, yeah, Nick, I mean, everything that people have donated was literally, like, at a drop of a hat, like people that are super busy. I know big red said it. I'll say it again. Also just the, the people that are in this community support right back. So I don't think, you know, we've had a couple of the, the big ones that you would think, um, that are here in my area in Portland that are kind of like, Hey, you know what? Um, we're kind of busy and we've kind of already, you know, donated what we can for the holidays. That's totally cool. Um, but you know, the, and then there's a lot of the other ones that were just drop of a hat we're, we're in. And even ones like, you know, there's some cool stuff coming up to you guys. So you guys will see it all next week. Make sure to set your clocks. It's going to be early one, 2 p.m. Pacific on Saturday, SKL on the road. Uh, it'll be on Big Red EDC's channel. Yeah, well over 25 companies. So that's, pre that's pretty cool, you guys. Uh, for something that we, you know, kicked off in October. So I think next year we'll, we'll do a lot more early planning. We'll try to gather some stuff up throughout the year, maybe work with a couple other custom, uh, makers as well to maybe get some, uh, custom items made. It'll give them more time to kind of dial it up, you know, cool calendar. Mark James Straubs is here. What's up, James? Another member of Zach's daily carry crew, Russ, what's up, buddy? So has there been any like deep down questions about Benchmade or any other things that you're looking for that I could hopefully answer for you. That's kind of one of the things I want to bring out today. And, um, yeah, it's just one of those, it's one of those days where, you know, we want to get everybody their props and really say thank you to everybody. Um, that's just, it's just what I wanted today to be, you know, be about, all of us together about you guys having fun. Uh, Mikey says 940 custom shop. When 
Um, I here's my prediction. It's probably not the best, but it's a prediction off of the information I have that I can share. I am guessing we are going to see uh, the mini bug out in the custom knife builder before we see the 940. So this is your mini bug out. I'm guessing we will see this in the custom shop prior to the 940. Or we will see the 940 and then the minis. But this has kind of been the year of the minis. I'm wrapping up a video right now that's kind of bench made uh, year of the mini. That video will be posting this week. Um, that'll be a cool one to kind of look at. Kind of covers all the minis that came out this year. A lot of the other minis, a lot of some of the ones that maybe have been discontinued. Um, and are we done with the minis? Will we see any other minis coming up? So, CK says, heard a bunch of smack about their custom service. Oh, their customer service. Benchmates? Yeah, I mean, it depends on it depends on the circumstance, you know? Um, a lot of people, it seems, either have really great service or so-so. Um, the hard part right now is everybody's kind of, you know, recovering from being closed for a while. And when you shut down large manufacturing for a month, um, that puts you pretty far behind. So here's that mini super freak or the mini freak. This is the S 90 V model carbon fiber, red accents. These are all stock. And I have to honestly say you guys, this is one that you should put on your Christmas list if you can. Uh, a lot of a lot of companies were doing sales. I'm excited to see tomorrow to see if we get any, you know, um, Cyber Monday deals on top of stuff. Oh yeah, hit that like button. Heck yeah. So, you know, year of the mini is definitely in play, you know. We got some cool mini stuff going on. Sorry I didn't clean the blade off on that one. Been using that one a little bit. Uh, let's see, we got a couple other questions here. Um, Slick says, I've always wondered if Benchmade would ever create a budget line of knives. What do you think, Zach? So they had a red red class that was made overseas uh, for years. Um, there's a lot of knives that came out of there. FRN kind of reminded me of some of the entry-level Spyderco um, quality-wise, those kind of things. So I would love to see a red class made here in the USA um, if they could do it. So, I mean, they would obviously have to look at their margins really closely. I would love to see a budget, a budget come out a budget, you know, series. Um, so it'd be kind of cool. That, that would be my thoughts on that. Uh, Russ says, what is the best bang for the buck for Benchmade? Honestly, I mean, one that's just stock, it really depends on what you're carrying it for. If you're looking for basic EDC, I would say for the money, Griptilian. See if you can get a Griptilian, get one of the G10 Griptilians that came out. Um, you know, the, the gray and blue ones. I was trying to see if I have one here. Um, if not, if you're looking for something a little smaller, I would say then like a mini grip or a bug out would probably be the best ones bang for the buck. I mean, I'm always a 940 guy, but those are kind of a little bit pricier than those. So, oh, that's nice, Ethan. You're driving your sister around. Nick says, are there any old models that necessarily didn't do that great, like the 955 um, or anything like that they're planning on bringing back possibly? Um, you know, there's a lot of things in the in the hopper, and it's kind of what, it reminds me of like, you know, the bingo ball where it's like all of a sudden something pops out and it's like, oh, let's uh, let's release that. So I know there's a lot of stuff in the hopper that they have plans on. Um, it depends on which ones that they decide to actually take to production. So I know there's some cool stuff uh, coming up. And I really hope that it comes to fruition and gets into production. Because everybody's going to be super excited. So, um, yes, Eggs and Ham 22. A mini Super Freak would be awesome. That would be so great. Uh, Gamma Rayburst, welcome. Says, you know if they're coming out with a mini bug out and CF Elite. Um, I would guess that would be the next step in the mini bug out in the mini bug out line. 
Um, that and maybe a G10 model we'll see. I'm guessing that they, maybe somebody will do a, a dealer exclusive. You know, kind of like we got the dealer exclusive for the um, full size bug out from Blade HQ. You know, it knocked it down like 50 bucks. But, you know, if you like green, I mean, I would love the blue accents. But, I mean, G10, they did uh, 20 CV satin and coated blades. What's up, Libertarian? Welcome, welcome. So those are those are a cool one that I'd hope they would come out with the CF Elite just for everybody because that one would be perfect. Uh, yeah, Randy, customer service has been great for me. I deal with it on more of a local level than calling customer service. So, um, But I have called customer service a few times as just regular Joe Blow, and things have been great. So I know some people have reached out over the years, um, and I've, I've you know tried to iron out a few things and got people dialed in. So uh, Northwood Knives says, you've probably answered this question before, Zach. Will Benchmade sharpen a mini bug out with robot? So the hard part with that is um, they will sharpen it, but it's one of those that they will only do certain things to it because they do not want to take the risk of it. So I would always put the original scales back on and send it in. That's my recommendation for you. Because that way if something happens or if something breaks, they can replace it on the spot and send it back to you. Um, I haven't seen Ethan asked if I saw any uh, scales for the Hoke Deca yet. I have not yet. Uh, I'd be excited to see if somebody would do that. That'd be kind of cool. Um, Joshua, welcome. Uh, mini Slim Pickens, cool. Yeah, Born on Blades. The minis are hard, um, but I like the Mini 945 here. The Mini Osborne uh, better than the Bug Out. It just fits my hand better. Um, I don't know if it's because it's slimmer through here than the regular bug out or mini bug out, but that's that's my my feel on it. Uh, family said no knives for Christmas. I'm sorry, Mikey. 33 is too many. Yeah, you can start selling them maybe. Buy a couple more. Uh, Bunzo says next year will be extra large models. Yeah, exactly. A folding machete. That'd be cool. Hey, Joshua Henderson. First time joining in. Just subbed. Nice. Right on. Welcome. Let's give Joshua Henderson a little love. Thank you so much. Uh, what's your opinion on the Mini Freak? Uh, so the only one that they discontinued on the Mini Freak was a serrated version. Um, so the I think I think we got the the standard version in carbon fiber. That's right here. What's up, Tom? Welcome. Nice, fast. Welcome, welcome. I think we're gonna see stuff build upon this this model right here. Um, the rubber grivery stuff just didn't sell very well. And a lot of people, like myself, let me see here. I should have it right here. As it all flies off the table. But I wanted to show you an example. A lot of people like myself have gone and purchased aftermarket scales for the mini freaks when they came out. So I, I tossed the, well, I didn't toss them, I still have them, but I got rid of the, the rubber and hard plastic scales because one, I mean, they felt okay using it, but in and out of the pocket, it was hard. And so these are G10, uh, the other ones are G10, it's from Rogue Blade Works. I'm talking them into making some more, making another run of them because I really wanna get a set of blue ones <laughs> to match this. So, good question, Joshua. Uh, let's see here. Let me get caught up on these. Uh, oh, yeah, Will I Orders on... Those are on par. They've been doing some crazy sales this last week. Uh, how well does the Gold Class sell and do they retain their value? Gold Class are definitely a certain type of people that want to buy those. Um, you know... You gotta want to spend the money to blow out a, a knife like this. It's gorgeous. It's beautiful, but you know, for the money, you're pushing. Uh, I think these were six fifty, seven fifty, something like that. Seven hundred, eight hundred. I think these were eight hundred. But yeah, so these will hold their value. Um, they also sell well, um, but it's hard to like flip them and make extra money because a lot of dealers will get one or two of these. And they'll sit on them for a while. And so 
they'll have them available, you know, a year later or even maybe a two years later at the regular, you know, $800 value. So it's hard to go on there to, to make any extra money. Um, but it can be done. It just takes uh, lots of time, lots of patience. So that's good. That's good. So that's a good one there. Good question. Good question. Uh, the green looks good. Okay. Okay. Uh, a couple nights ago, you saw the G10 mini griptilian on Amazon for 140. Okay. Yeah. It's hard. I'm really, it's really caution to the wind on Amazon. You got to make sure that seller's right. There's been so many, um, replicas, fakes, copies out there. It's, yeah, I, I would really hate for somebody to get one and be like, Oh, it's not working right. And you know, you send it in for repair and they'll keep it. They won't send it back if it's a fake. So what's up, Luke? Welcome. Mm. Uh, let's see the 940 BK 2001. It'd look nice with the rest. Oh yeah. Let me see. I should have it right here. Good idea. This will, this will go well with this group of knives here. Put the 940 BK 2001 out there. What's up, a therapeutic edge? Peter, welcome, welcome. Uh, let's see here. Got some other questions. Oh, you got some other ones, G Done. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, definitely. Let's see here. Yeah, 263 is a lot. I saw some, some prices on Black Friday. I think they were in the low 200s. Or like 185 or so. I don't know. It was pretty cheap. I was like, man, I almost want to buy another one. But uh, the Hunt series, I have a few of those. Um, some of the ones that I use on the daily are like the um, the ones here. Like this one's from Knifeworks. They did an exclusive. They took a Hunt series and turned it into blue accents. And of course, you know, with me, I'm like, oh yeah, I need to have one with blue accents. <laughs> and I really like this. It's another one that's hard because you have hard plastic here with the blue. And then you have like a soft rubber material here. Hilltop, what's up, buddy? Thank you again for your beautiful work on this knife. Um, hopefully you, I gave you a huge shout out with Big Red here. Amazing work that you do with this. Um, I'm loving it. I carried it like three times last week. Pushed out a couple other ones that I was carrying for review. And I'm like, no, nah, that's... That one blew me away, so thank you guys so much. Uh, let's see. Sacagawea Buffalo Flop, welcome. Says, all I want in 2021 is a mini anthem. Ooh, that's a good idea. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, let's see. Wow, that's a lot of money on Olights. Good for you guys. Um, Psycho on iOS says, what's your primary EDC? Primary... That's a hard question for reviewer wise. I always have at least one. I try to carry two knives every day. Um, I always have at least one that's a review knife and then one that's solid. Uh, if I'm going to work, I try to carry something like the full size Super Freak. And I put red thumb studs on this one. Shout out to the red thumb studs. I try to carry something like this um, if I know I'm going to be at work because I just need something that I can do any task with. Um, or like the CF Elite Presidio. So I try to do that stuff. So yeah, yeah, yeah. That's awesome, BJ. Thank you so much. Uh, ben Kurth, welcome. Says, thoughts on the Benchmade review and removing numbers for the first production models. Thumbs up or thumbs down? Now here's my, my thought. This is a prime example because I think oh, this is the first one where they actually did the first production with no numbers. Uh, I'm torn on this because in the past it's like, oh, it's great. You got a, you got a single digit or a load number one. Um, that was pretty cool stuff to have. However, flip side, you get a lot of people fighting for numbers. So it's kind of cool just now to have a first production like this mini Osborne 945 TPK is here. What's up TPK? I have a, just, uh, to the word, just so you guys know, There'll be an unboxing video this week that'll post. Uh, and it came from TPK. So I'm pretty excited to share that with you guys. So stay tuned. That's coming up. And it'll probably I'll probably release it first to the members of my channel. 
just so they can get an early early view of what's going on there. Um, David Payne, welcome, welcome. Uh, nice fast, looking to get a 940 at some point. What variant would you suggest? I really like one of two that are out there, stock version. Um, let me grab it. I really like the 940-1. Now, granted, I put blue thumb studs on this one. But I like this one as a stock version 940 that you can get right now. And I also like the 940-2, which is a G10 version, which I put blue thumb studs on this one to match the barrel spacers. But this is a G10, black G10. You can get it. Uh, the straighted, I think they discontinued, but... You can get the plain edge, S30V. It's a solid knife. This one will literally go anywhere, take any abuse, uh, the carbon fiber or the G10 model. So that to me is a good entry one. Uh, a lot of people like the aluminum ones. Those get a lot of scratches and patina, those kind of things. So you just have to know that's what you're going to get out of that one. So uh, yeah, BJ did an amazing job on that. So thank you so much. Uh, Nick says, do you ever carry something small like the altitude? You know, I never got an altitude and then they got discontinued. Um, so that would be great for a small fixed blade, but I just don't find myself carrying a, a, a fixed blade at work or EDC wise. Only when I'm going out camping or doing certain things, um, with friends. So, you know, we have a couple outdoor things that we do. So that's pretty cool. Oh, you're getting your Malibu back from ProTech? That's awesome. That's pretty cool. Um, let's see. Mitchell Erickson, welcome, welcome. Getting your first PM2 for Christmas. Nice. That's pretty cool. Kevin Nelson's here. Griff Ridge scales are difficult to get out of the pocket. Yes, that's the only problem I had with those. But that's why I went to the blue one, and I carry it as a secondary. And my secondary pocket, that mini clip works well. That mini deep carry works well for it, so... Um, oh, you made your own Grizzly Ridge Scales. That's cool. That's cool. Um, let's see here. Yeah, I mean, it, it does, Mikey, I see your point. It does give collectors something to shoot for. Um, but it, it just drove the market crazy. You know what I mean? Um, that, yeah, it just drove the market crazy getting those low numbers. So, I mean, I like the idea that, you know, they still do it on the limited editions and on the gold class. I like that. So I like that very much. Um, so that's pretty cool that they kept those. So it was almost like a, a this or that. So <laughs> Ethan, I see your question. I'll get it to you in just a second. Um, let's see here. Where's the next one? Oh, nice. You watched uh, Big Red's SOCOM Elite today? No, oh, nice. You're going to pick one up from him? Oh, wow. That's crazy, Big Red. Um, Let's see here. Yeah, second Julia Buffalo Flop. I, you know, they did the custom 940, and they've done a lot of custom 940s this year because it's the 20-year anniversary of the 940 Osborne. I don't think that we'll see the 940 sooner than later. I think we'll see the mini bug out first. But you never know. They could switch it up and maybe they have extra product for the 940 before the mini. It just really depends on, I think, supply. Um, that's the hardest part is being ready because like when they put the bug out in the, in the customizer, I mean, the parts they had to have on hand was insane. It was crazy, crazy. So, yeah, I'm still waiting for the Blade HQ 940 as well. Uh, hopefully, you guys saw my review on that. I had an awesome, awesome viewer send that to me. Um, gave him some major props. Um, definitely check that video out. Give his Instagram a follow because he sent that out. Um, it was a weird deal. They had a little uh, faux pas in their, uh, in their thing, and he ended up being able to order one. And they honored it and shipped it to him. So, that was pretty cool. Um... Send it in. Oh, you sent it in to get blue scales on. Ooh, nice. That's cool. Uh, Luke says, Zach, have you had a chance to try Tarot Tough Scales from Fireside? I have not. I'll have to mark that and go uh, check those out. 
Ethan says bug out versus Decca. I like the bug out in G10 over the Decca. And the reason, the biggest reason right now is because, let me see if I have that, that Decca here. Hold on. Where'd that Decca go? So the biggest reason I have right now is when you close these, I, I still get that because the back of the edge of the scale here is cut compared to the, the flat edge on the bug out. I still get that where I have to be careful because it's going to come down and nip the heel of my hand there. So to me, you know, before the G10 came out, I was like, man, the Hogue, the Deca, it's a solid knife in 20 CV. And for the price, you can't beat it. What's up, Zachary Schmidt? Welcome. But that's cool. That is a great knife. And I put that deep carry from the ZT0450 on it. And it makes it perfect. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Kai Kai, welcome. Said, so, you ever order the Waypoint? I am hoping to order one by the end of the month if they still have them. I just got to wait on, on money. I put some money into extra stickers and patches. So I'm, I, I have money that you guys support me with. I put that right back into the channel. I have my second job that supports this channel as well. And I do some things, to make sure I have giveaway items and stuff like that. So when I build up that little bit, I try to buy some extra stuff and the waypoints on my list for sure. So, uh, Oh, Keith doing a little trade with TPK. Nice, nice new spin era. Welcome. Yeah, you definitely got to get a modded rat. The, those are awesome. BJ, Hilltop Knives and Gear. Definitely check it out. Tom's here. Welcome. Oh, a link to the TPK uh, Instagram. Okay. Yeah, we're all waiting for that one. Oh, you're washing dishes? <laughs> Read all the comments out loud. Yeah, no doubt, right? Man, if I could do that, that would be awesome. If I could stay up with that. Oh, I'm glad you like the swag and stuff. That's cool. Oh, I worked on the headliner. Right on. That's cool. That's cool. Uh, ben Kurth, welcome, welcome. Says, do you think a potential mini bug out in S30V would just overlap the new 940-1? Uh, overlap in which way? Like, you mean... In this, in this fashion? Like, pivot to pivot? I'm not sure uh, what your intent of the question was. I apologize, but that's kind of the size comparison of them. But for me, it's fantastic. Oh, really, BJ? It's good stuff? Okay, I'll have to check those out. I'm always open to trying out new scales, especially for the Benchmades. Yeah, Ethan, the, the Warren Cliff, I have that one too, and that one works, and it doesn't nip the heel of my hand, so it's good. Uh, G-Man says, how many knives does Benchmade release on first production runs? It really depends. You know, it really depends on the knife. Um, you know, when we saw first production runs originally, you know, they were somewhere between, because if you see the limited editions, they come out with like 2,000 or something like that. Um, but that's one of those things where it's like, I would say probably first production runs like a thousand to fifteen hundred, maybe something like that. Mikey's back, right on, Mikey. Welcome, welcome back. Um, yeah, James. Yeah, I have to avoid it for that reason. It's just a little bit short on the back end of that scale, and it just pushes it in a little too far from my hand. I have a large glove size hand, so that's why. So, oh yeah, no, I don't think anybody's gonna tell her what she's in for, Keith. TPK, that's a great trade. I I did my release of my Delica. I was honored. Uh, it was an April 1st thing. Um, I did. I released it on April 1st this year, the video. Uh, very honored. So if you haven't seen that, I was inducted to the, the Delica Club, and it was pretty cool. Um, let's see here. Tactile turn, just RMA'd my bolt action pin so fast. 
Check the mailbox and expect to find some new shiny copper goodness. Ooh, nice, Luke. I, I've had great service from them. You know, I picked this one up at Blade Show West um, last year. And the work, I mean, it's hard to show. That milling is just amazing. And then, of course, I had to get the Timascus cap and bolt. And I like this one. This is the mini. I got the mini. It works great. I love the clip on it because it, it sits pretty deep. I like the clip on this one, and I love the fidgety factor of the side click. So I, w I wish they had this clip on the side click, but, you know, they got to keep it a little bit different on the new releases. I get it. Um, so Nick says, did you really like the Dam Designs gin? I signed up for a pre-order. I can't wait. They look really fun to float. They are super duper fidgety fun. And of course, Adrian, he hooked me up with a blue G10 one because he knew, he knew what was up, but they are super fidgety fun indeed. Um, I mean, deep pocket carry, it's just, it's fantastic. So it's a little small, but you know, as a flipper like this, kind of that front flipper, they're just super fidgety fun and they're sharp as all get out. So and, and Big Red can probably attest to that as well. So, what's up, Mark? Welcome, welcome. Appreciate you jumping in. That's great. Um, let's see. Size. Yeah, over. Okay. Lap and size. I got you, Ben. Yeah, I mean, they're pretty much almost the same, just different designs. You know? Pretty, pretty close. So, to me, the, the, Mini, 940, the Mini 945 Osborne just works better and I don't know if it's because of that lip right there and I can get all my fingers on it and get to cutting but that's what works for me the best and you know the mini is great but I mean which I can get more of it on the actual scale but you know that's just my preference you know I had to go with Rogue kicked out some uh crazy I think I showed these off last week but they kicked out these crazy ones so I had to do it Oh, BJ, thanks so much, man. Yeah, you are welcome. Again, seriously, if you guys, I know he's got his books going, probably crazy right now for the holiday, but this is an amazing custom Ontario rat. I think it's a Spidey rat. Is that what you call it? The work on this is, is beautiful. And, and honestly, showing it off again, I'm probably going to have to carry it tomorrow to work. So, And I'll work on breaking it in so I can do the Spidey flick for you guys. It's just hard on camera right now. <laughs> Yeah, that purple is great. You can get a purple one for sure. Okay, let's see here. Um, let's see. Ethan says, did I brought the new work sharp angle sharpener from one knife, aka the Hogue Deco One Cliff? Yes, I did. <laughs> yeah, that's the exact one to buy it for. That's perfect. Uh, Zach, did you grab a spot for the tech? I have to do that. I didn't realize. Until this week. Take care, BJ. Have a great night, man. Have an awesome week, too. Oh, he sent that. Okay. That's awesome. Dang, how can I get that? Um, I don't know if I have my other device that I can get that picture on, Big Red. Okay. Uh, so yeah, second Julia Buffalo shop. I'm going to have to jump in there and I didn't realize it was a pre-release sign up. So I'm going to have to do that tonight. That's definitely one of those things that his, the knife that they're working on is pretty cool. Oh, Zachary says he got a 20 CV 940. Nice. That's awesome. Excuse me. Bolt action pin. The Civivi came out with a bolt action pin. Really? Is that the one that has a ball bearing on the top? I think I saw it. Oh yeah, Nathan, welcome. So this is by Tactile Turn. This pen is. It's their bolt action. It works amazing. This is the mini version. Um, and I put a right in the rain uh, Fisher Space Pen refill in it. Because I didn't like the way the Schmidt ones work. They're too uh, gel inky for me. But the the yeah, it takes so many different styles. It's great. They have a huge list on their website it takes. And they have the side click version as well. They make a regular size. 
the mini, and I think they're doing a, even a smaller one now too. Um, how does that work, Keith? Oh, there you go. Mark, welcome so much, Mark Herrera. Oh yeah, so Jason, um, you wear it out. So I would say the side click or this bolt action, I don't think you're gonna wear it out too much. And you know, their customer service is amazing. So if anything ever happens, you can just get a hold of them. They also sell extra parts too, so. Oh, Keith and Mikey hooking it up on the Instagram. There you go. Oh, you got the black tie, Jin. Oh, that's awesome, Russ. Yeah. Just got an amazing pick from Southern Edge Knife Works on one of the custom knives that he has made for a giveaway from Old Hickory Forge. He's a past Forge and Fire contestant. That's awesome. Well, we'll definitely have to share that, Big Red. Maybe we'll, uh, I know you sent me the, the picture. I can't get it right now. But maybe we can uh, each do a post on our uh, stories and stuff. On the community page, which is so weird because it's like you have to scroll through to find the community page. They got to find a better way to do that, I think. One day. Oh, <laughs> do a flossy giggity on that hard on camera phase, phrase. Hard on camera. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, Nicholas, what's up, buddy? What's going on in here? We're talking blue knives. We're doing a Q&A. We're talking the tactile turn pins. Jason said he wears out the knives. He's too hard on them. Giggity. Giggity. Um, yeah, so I have not, Taz, I do not have a hinder pen. So I'm not sure. I wouldn't be able to answer that question 100%. Oh, Big Red, thanks for putting that link in there. Needs a blue bolt. Yeah, definitely. Uh, the price on those are a little bit right around 100 for these um, without the Timascus bolt. And I think the Timascus bolt uh, is like an extra 15 or 20 bucks. So, and I've heard, yeah, Uncle Cal, you know, he's talking about it. I've heard the investigators are nice as well. So... Anytime you get into custom pens like that, usually the quality is pretty, pretty good there. So yeah, there's a lot of blue swag on the table. And just so you know, this is a custom Ontario Rat 1. The work was done by BJ from Hilltop Knives and Gear. Oh, Big Red, thanks, buddy. Um, blue black combo. Got the spidey hole in there now. Got a beautiful edge on it. Nice acid wash to it. I uh, have to say... It was an amazing birthday gift from Big Red. So thank you so much. That it seriously just still blows me away. Oh, you're going to SEKW this weekend? Well, you have to tell them we say hello. Oh, really? It feels behind tonight? Well, hopefully it's not on my end. My internet went out earlier today. Um, and I was getting a little worried because around 2 o'clock or so right before two, um, it was out. And so that's why I had to do the post and kind of put it up there that it was going to be at three o'clock today, my time. So yeah, the Spidey Rat's pretty awesome. It, it's so, it feels good in the hand. It's easy to flip. So thank you guys so much for the support. That's awesome. It goes right back to you guys. So, and you'll see that today with the giveaway. I have a really cool giveaway today. So it's pretty cool. You guys are here. Um, you're on the tactile site right now. They do have some awesome stuff and they have a knife they're making too. So don't buy all the extra spots. I got to leave one for me. I got to try to get in on that. Uh, Nicholas, uh, the founding father of Zach's daily carry crew. He said, uh, due to had to return my iPhone 12 pro went back to the 11 pro. Oh really? Oh man, that's not good. Oh, the green tint. I heard that was a problem with some of them. Yeah, I heard there was there's some uh, some kind of techie people I follow that, that a lot of people wouldn't say a lot, but a few people had that pop up. So, oh, cool. What's up, Monster Racing? Welcome, welcome. Thanks for joining in. Josh Adams here. Welcome. That's awesome. Um. Oh, better battery. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm just I I hadn't had a new phone in like three and a half years or so, and so I'm like, let's do the, let's do the 12 Pro. 
And it takes beautiful pictures. So, and I like the mini, Jacob. I like this mini 945, this mini Osborne. I really do like it. Um, I seriously, anywhere I go, I this is usually like my second knife, especially, you know, on my days off, which I, today's my one day off for the week. So I think I worked like, because uh, I worked all holiday weekend too. But yeah, it's all good. It's all good. Yeah, the actual acid wash are pretty cool, Zachary. I have a couple others like that. Like um, I got an awesome gift from OCD for EDC. And this is a Tucson. You guys have probably seen this one. And I like how he did the the pivot and put the Z on there. And then he he kind of did the wash to the liners and the pocket clip and put a Z on there. And it kind of, it's kind of cool. I like how it takes away the, cause I'm not really a huge shiny pocket clip kind of guy, but you know, and he put the Zach stuff on there and, 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 uh, it's got the orange backspacer. So this one was a really cool gift that he had sent to me this, this last year. So, so awesome that Justin did that. Um, let's see, go back to another question here. Oh, cool. You're going to go see a football game. That's awesome. Right on. Uh, have you checked out the spaced out bug out from Rotor Knives? Oh, I saw that one. Somebody sent it to me on Instagram. And that's pretty trippy, man. I so much custom work on that one. I, I kind of dig it, but I don't know. I am not. I don't know if I'm a, a spacey guy like that. But it's, I mean, anything custom like that is just beautiful. I, I wouldn't want to carry it because I wouldn't want to mess it up. <laughs> um let's see here oh your birthday's tomorrow oh well happy early birthday buddy getting the new workshop precision adjust in the mail tomorrow nice well happy early birthday everybody give jo joshua wilson a little extra birthday love hey chris rayner's here welcome chris yeah so let's see um pulling up oh edc tv thanks buddy that's awesome, man. Thanks for the support. Sean T's here. What's up, Sean? EDC TV. Nice. Thank you so much. Uh, I have not, Luke, played Gears of War. No, I have not. Yeah, member swag. You got the stickers now. You got the custom stickers. So anybody that's a member of Zach's Daily Carry Crew, you see the little ZS uh, by their name for Zach's stuff. It's for Zach's Daily Carry Crew. You get custom emojis you can use in the live chat. You can also use those custom emojis commenting on any of my videos. Uh, and then exclusive access. Like you guys are going to get to see the the early version or the early release of the unboxing of the, I guess I could say random. No, not random. But the TPK sent a gift package to me. I have no idea what's inside. I'm going to unbox it on video and share it with you guys. So I think it'll be fun. I think it'll be fun. Oh yeah, Acid Wash 940. That'd look kind of cool. Oh, okay. Try intro, okay. Oh, coupons floating around, okay. Well, look at that. People helping people right there. Do something kind for someone. Yeah, definitely Sacagawea, Buffalo Flop. Thanks for sharing that. Oh, 15 minutes. The Slicinator's coming on in 15 minutes. Okay, well, thanks for letting me know. I'll have to try to wrap it up by then. Oh, Nicholas, you got the patch? The Zach Stuff patch? Oh, thanks. I appreciate it. No, that's cool. Yeah, these patches are pretty nice. They're flexible. You can pretty much put them on anything. Um, it's the first edition, so that's kind of cool. Uh, I'm doing some other patch orders right now, and I think the other ones are going to be pretty cool also. So, <laughs> Ethan's trying to trying to uh get people to buy his christmas list there i know the the things are awesome edc tv thanks again for the support that's awesome and edc tv uh, do you have a channel is that something that we need to do we need to, do we need to check out your channel let me know um let's see All the birthday wishes to Joshua. That's so awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
Ah, yeah, hit the like button. Yeah, heck yeah. All right, Northwoods Knives, take care. Good luck with the in-laws. <laughs> Thank you so much. Hey, hey, Lorenzo's here. What's up, Lorenzo? Welcome, welcome. Okay, check out your channel. Right on. Well, I'll have to see if I can get a, a post. Maybe a, old Big Red can do that. That'd be great. Oh, awesome. Oh, Nicholas, thanks, buddy. Got the unicorn on there. That's great. That's my favorite sticker. It is. It truly is. The unicorn sticker is amazing. Uh, Nick says, do you know if they have ever talked about a larger size bug out? Like, realistically. Um, I know that definitely, definitely the there's been talk of it. Um, I can't share too much, but I mean, everything has been on the table. Now, whether it goes to production, I'm not sure. Um, yeah, monster. Yeah. You know, monster needs a little help support, uh, for the family. Definitely. You can, uh, hit the, hit the link there. We'll share it. All right, Zachary Schmidt, take care, buddy. Uh, we're going to try to do a giveaway here. Because I don't want to overlap with Slicey, since mine's uh, a little later. Oh, you're rocking your patch? Nice. Oh, there's EDC TV's channel. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to have to check that out, too. Thanks, Big Red, for sharing that. Hey, hey, Women Carry Knives is here. What's up? What's up? Cyber Monday started already? No way. We need a large wee banter. Yeah, definitely. I have this one right here, which was a gift to me from Glock by my side. Amazing. Oh, nice. Ethan ruins EDC is 42 subs away from 100. There you go. Yeah, bigger size. I mean, I like the size of this, but I can see that one. Get a little bit different one. Okay, so let's get a few of the knives off here. I'm going to take these out because I want to get this giveaway going. Also... Don't forget to use the code ZAC15. Do some shopping at Southern Edge Knife Works. They have donated some awesome, awesome stuff to our holiday giveaway. And I can't wait to share that picture with you. It's fantastic from what Big Red's saying. And also, I had some truck troubles this last last week or so. And uh, my truck was a little a little out of the out of commission. And I have to say that, you know, somebody was thinking about me. And so they got me a new truck. <laughs> That's so awesome. <laughs> this was this was sent to me by Big Red. Um, he was thinking about me. He's like, bro, you need a better truck. You need a new truck. So Big Red, <laughs> thank you, buddy. Uh, thanks for putting that link up there too for Southern Edge Knife Works. So let me grab a piece of paper here. Uh, I got a note card. We're going to do a number guess for the giveaway. Um, and what you're going to get for the giveaway, you're going to get a Zach Stuff patch. You're going to get some Zach Stuff swag and stickers. And we're going to do, let's see, how many people we got? 75 right now? Looks like I got to hurry. So let's show you. Oh, let's show you what's on the giveaway for today. A sweet, sweet knife for the giveaway. It's brand new in the box. Let me take it out of the box here. And I have to say, this is all because of your guys' support. But what about giving away this bad boy? A gray and black Benchmade Griptilian, full size. It's a custom one you can't get. Let's give that away. Let's do that as the giveaway today. Some Zach Stuff swag. I'll throw some other swag in there as well. Let's do it. Let's do that. Uh, so let me tear this card. Let me write a number on here. Uh, wait till you see a start on the screen. But we're going to do one number between, oh, let's say 700 and 900. One number. And I'm going to pick a number on there. And I'm going to fold this up real quick. Yeah, Nicholas, you got to get in on this, buddy. This is a sweet, sweet Griptilian. It's a full-size Griptilian. We're going to put this card with the money, or not the money, but the number 
underneath that one. Um, so yeah, so I understand the chat's behind. So what we're going to do is we are going to, yeah. And if, you know, definitely this stuff. So one number between 700 and 900, once you see a start on the screen from big red, you can go ahead. One guess only one guess only closest without going over. We are going to get this given away to somebody today. This awesome, awesome Benchmaker Reptilian. It's a full size one. Whoops. Oh, Randy, that's so awesome. Thank you. Yep, it's the reenlistment one, definitely. So there's the start. We'll do some. Uh, we'll do some scrolling through. We'll see if anybody guesses it right on the money. We'll see if anybody. Uh, you know, hopefully we just have one guess, but if we get two people that are the closest or two people that guess it right on the money, then we will go ahead and do a second round with just those people. So, <laughs> Nicholas. Uh, one number guess between 700 and 900. So guess one number between that spread. One number, one guess only. I'm not sure on the chat today. I don't know what's going on. My internet's full on, powered up, ready to go. I don't know if it's just a lot of people on the system. And so that's what it's doing. I'm not sure. So yeah, so we're doing that. There you go, Randy. You can give Big Red an email, bigrededc at gmail.com. Get that worked out. That's super nice of you. Josh said, sorry. That's okay. We can, uh, we'll take your first guess. That's okay. So we'll have to wait to make sure this is good. Hopefully Slicey understands. <laughs> Nicholas, too funny. Let's see here. So we got to make sure, let me scroll back while we're waiting for more people to get their first and only guess in and I'll see how close people are. See if, see if we have anybody that nailed it or got really close. I see a couple close ones. That's nice, Randy. Thanks for your support, buddy. Rip City, we're doing a guess right now for a giveaway for this Benchmade right here. One guess only. Guess one number between 700 and 900. So yeah, I see some real close ones. My chat's still moving. Your guys' guesses are still coming through. What's up, Scott? Thanks for jumping in, throwing in your guess. 87 people watching right now. That's good. Hey, Nicholas, thanks so much, man. I really appreciate it. You know, it's people like yourself who, you know, want to give back to the community and support. That's amazing, man. You know, and I just want to return that, you know, and uh, that's how we do it. You know, people taking care of each other. I don't think we're going to see a Christmas edition one, Bunzo. No. So Mikey says, close it and rejoin the join the live if it's broken and not, not working for you. A little tech support from Mikey. Thanks, Mikey. Oh, we got you up here. Nice, nice. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, everybody is amazing. I mean, everybody here is just awesome. I mean, you guys are here because you guys are wonderful members of the community and I'm just glad to be a part of it. So what I can do to give back, I'm doing it. So, uh, let's see, we got another one. Oh, Nicholas. Thanks buddy. Thanks for your support. That's great. Smash that like button. Do something kind for someone. Yeah, definitely. I want to, I want to give it an extra minute. 
I know it's going to go into Slicey a little bit, so hopefully Slicey understands. We'll all jump over there when we're done. We'll watch his, his live. Normally, I don't get this close to his, but because of uh, family time today and my internet, <laughs> at 3 o'clock it was. Thanks, Monster. I appreciate it. Yeah, we'll have to check out Monster's link there. Big Red posted earlier. Just support one of our members of the community, you know. Oh, I appreciate it, Taz. Thanks for the kind words. Definitely. Good stuff, TPK. TPK is another great member of the community. 6 p.m. on the East Coast for you? Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, and I know there's there's awesome stuff. So it looks like everybody's got their vote in. Or their guess. <laughs> Buns out, you're funny. Oh, CK, thanks, man. Yeah, Slicey Dicey on YouTube. He started up here at 4 o'clock probably. I'll probably get a pop up here in a minute. He'll tell me he's live. And he'll be wondering why everybody's out there not, <laughs> not joining yet. Yep, I just got the pop up. He's now live. So if anybody does jump over there real quick, there's the stop signs. So let's go ahead and take a look. I know from what I saw earlier, we're going to have a second round because I saw two people guess this already. I'm going to go back and verify which ones, but the number was 801, 801. Yeah, I know, Sean. Everybody's like, he's like, man, it's pretty low today. No, we're all going to go support Slicey here in just a minute. So let's see. The I saw two people. I saw Joseph Kasparik. A Newfoundland guy that guessed 801. Um, let's see. Newfoundland, Joseph K. And I'm trying to see if there's anybody else that guessed 801. I didn't see anybody else's at 801. Are those the two that you guys see, Big Red? Oh, you guessed triple six first? Oh, really? Okay. Well, I guess then maybe we'll just have the one winner then. Let me go back and look. So. Sorry about that. Oh, yeah, Newfoundland. Okay, that was your, your first guess was the triple six. Oh, no, no problem, no problem. Uh, Newfoundland, why don't you do this? Uh, why don't you send me an email at zach.edc at gmail.com and um, let me know what happened and I'll, I'm going to send you out some swag. So no problem. No problem at all. Very honorable. I love seeing that. So you guys are awesome for that. So Joseph K, uh, if you're, hopefully you're still here. Then I would say you're the winner. You've won this awesome exclusive bug out. So, Joseph, please send me an email, zach.edc at gmail.com, and send me your info so I can get this shipped out to you. That's really cool stuff, you guys. Really cool stuff. All right. Well, normally I would take more questions, but however, we're going to go and jump on Slicey Dicey's. So, you guys are awesome. Thank you all for supporting today. Thanks for being here. Look forward to the, the unboxing video of TPK's gift, um, mysterious gift package. You guys rock. Thank you guys for all that supported. Thanks to all the members of Zach's Daily Carry Crew. Big shout out to Big Red EDC. I really appreciate you helping me out. Um, and Keith, also, thanks for helping me out. Again, we'll see you over on Slices. Have an awesome week. Make sure to do something kind for someone, but most importantly, you take care.